Hello, my name's Brendan Doe. Um, I'm the Mouse Production Manager for the Wellcome Trust Sound Institute at Hingston in the UK. And part of my role involves the generation of knockout mouse models to, in order to study gene function. Um, we've generated these mutants for a project called the Mouse Genetics Project, as well as our own faculty and various strategic awarded projects and consortium, including the International Mouse Phenotype Consortia, the IMPC. The goal of the IMPC, as you will have heard through various other videos on this site, is to produce a knockout mouse mutant for each of the 20,000 known protein coding genes and to put them through a primary phenotyping pipeline in order to understand their function. The traditional way to generate these knockout mice is by injecting homologously targeted embryonic stem cells, ES cells, into the mouse blastocyst to generate chimeras and eventually a knockout mouse. However, since the end of 2014, we've utilised a technology called CRISPR-Cas9, and that's been our method of choice to generate mouse mutant models. And it has some uh, advantages over the S-cell technology that I mentioned, including uh, speed and efficiency. Um, unlike S-cell technology, CRISPR-Cas9 elicits a targeted mutation by directly editing the mouse genome in the mouse zygote. Uh, when it became evident that we were going to use CRISPR-Cas9 as our method of choice for generating knockout mouse mutants, we had to decide how we were actually going to deliver those CRISPR-Cas9 materials into the zygote. Uh, some of the first reports and papers that came out uh, describing CRISPR-Cas9 generated mutants um, used a technique uh, called piezo-actuated microinjection and more traditional ways to introduce reagents into a mouse zygote have been into the pronucleus uh, when generating mouse models such as overexpression transgenics and there are a number of teams who uh, use pronuclear injection to generate CRISPR-Cas9 mutants as well. We, however, we decided that um, the route that we wanted to take was uh, cytoplasmic microinjection. This, um, for us, seemed to have some advantages over the other techniques I've just mentioned. Uh, piezo injection technology is not a technique that all labs or many labs have around the world and it involves some specialist equipment that uh, most uh, labs generating mouse mutants perhaps don't have access to. Um, the pronuclear injection method um, has some disadvantages in that it can impact on the uh, mouse embryo as it develops post injection and that's due to the physical properties of the mouse embryo in the nucleus, uh, sorry in the pronucleus, the nucleoli within there are very sticky and so once injected you do have a tendency to pull out the nucleoli and thus have, um, which has then some consequences on the developing mouse embryo. Um, both of these particular um, problems are overcome by cytoplasmic microinjection. Uh, the problem we did have, however, was actually coming across and finding a detailed protocol to do cytoplasmic microinjection. We, we couldn't find one. Um, and so, despite this, we uh, undertook to do some cytoplasmic microinjection and we managed to eventually come up with a technique that we were happy with and that generated CRISPR-Cas9 mutants at a very efficient rate and using um, few embryos to generate those mouse mutants. Um, and so uh, once we started to generate this data um, with uh, cytoplasmic microinjection we shared the data and the techniques of the video online in places such as the ISTT, the International Society for Transgenic Technologies and over um, IMPC 
telephone calls that we had to to uh, share our respective data. Uh, from this um, we had a number of inquiries from other labs around the world um, asking us actually how do you do cytoplasmic injection and uh, could we show them or teach them how to do it. And we were of course very happy to, to do this but we felt at the same time it would be um, of a benefit to the wider community who are involved in generating mouse mutant models for us to draw up a detailed protocol uh, and hence that's what we've done and uh, the protocol was uh, published recently in the methods and protocol section of um, MDPI, an online um, publication. Um, at this stage that's it's probably worth mentioning that now there are some other methods including electroporation to generate CRISPR uh, mutant models which may in time prove to be more efficient than cytoplasmic injection but currently um, data that we've seen doesn't suggest that that's the case but that may be something to explore as well if you're wanting to generate mouse mutant models. Um, and I'd just like to uh, take this opportunity to thank all the people and all the teams that come together in a large project such as MDP. Um, it couldn't be delivered um, without their help and so that includes everybody from genome engineering um, to the research support facility staff, colony managers, um, the mouse shipping team, the phenotyping team, as well as uh, genotyping and the project management and IT support teams. Um, so I'll thank all those because really we couldn't manage a project like that without all the input and the team working together and we've uh, made a good, great success of it.